nursing for about 17 years. And there's one integral piece, I believe, that uh, is a direct link to healthcare quality and patient safety, and that is data and having real time accurate data so that healthcare providers can make decisions based on what is exactly happening at a point in time, uh, but also so that uh, as data are collected throughout the hospitalization, that we are actually putting those pieces together and, and putting it in a story in a coherent way so that if there is something that needs to be acted upon, we can do so. And I, th I think that's, a, that's where we're heading with healthcare, uh, in particular with data analytics. Uh, and with our team, we're interested in the methods by how we're collecting this information. In terms of healthcare policy, the ultimate goal, of course, is improving the quality of healthcare. So, oftentimes, when you improve quality, you have to reduce the variability. And so, this could be seen um, today with uh, increasing documentation and standardizing documentation with the EMR, and then also uh, how data is collected. So, um, just increasing standardization obviously relates to policy. It could be at an institutional level or a national level. about in terms of transparency and by increasing uh, data collection we are able to make um, healthcare system more transparent to the to the users to healthcare consumers so think about um, food labels for example consumers are able to read the data and read uh, the statistics on back of uh, food cans um, which is standardized. So can, it, can you imagine a healthcare system where everything is standardized and, con and consumers are actually able to look at the data before they make informed choices in, in choosing providers or institutions? Under current data collection systems, there's actually a huge delay in receiving feedback from the data that hospitals collect, and it can take up to six months. So it's really important that we start to liberate this data so that healthcare teams can monitor the care that patients are receiving, as well as make rapid changes if they see a problem in how care is being delivered. Moving towards real-time data access is actually a major initiative in the U.S. so that we can promote learning health systems, which is how hospitals can better learn from the data that they're collecting. We're really glad to be a part of the Ohio State community, and we're also very active across the country in various groups with not just American Heart Association, but some of the other um, data organizations. But our final message, I think, that we want to send out is that we're open for business. And we've got some big ideas and we're creating some big changes that are really needed in our healthcare system. And uh, part of that involves recruiting talent. So we're looking for students who are interested in the field uh, and uh, actually coming forward with ideas and they're interested in building, building a, a better healthcare system for tomorrow. Uh, we'd also like to partner with uh, community agencies, uh, and that may be in the form of industry or even uh, local agencies here in the Columbus area. Uh, but this is an important initiative for us, and we're just glad to be a part of uh, what's turning out to be a fabulous research program. <laughs>